Now let's talk a little bit about tools. Now, as, as in the last, uh, uh, in the panel you were on, it's all about, it's not about the technology, it's about the, the people and what you do with it. But I am curious, what are some of the things you use as far as blogs, Flickr, YouTube? Sure. Uh, in terms of places that we engage with um, our customers, and, and the engagement tends to be the most important part. Um, we, we're very, you know, cautious about where we go. We want to make sure that if we do engage with customers in a community, that we do so in such a way that uh, we're clear that we understand the rules of that community. Um, we don't want to jump in and try to overstep our boundaries. We understand that if we're there, we're there as a guest of that community, not necessarily as, you know, as, as an equal member who can kind of jump in and, and lay claim to it. There's a certain amount of responsibility that we feel we have to make sure that we are there as a resource. Um, and so where we're involved, uh, we have a Flickr channel. Um, and that one's very much actually aimed more towards our, our crew members um, as a way of, of, of showcasing our crew members, showcasing what we're doing within the system, whether it's you know sh taking pictures from the last company barbecue in, in, uh, in Oakland, or is it um, you know having crew members take pictures of their JD Power and Associates award that we've won, um, and, and sending that all around the system and, and creating this pool of these great pictures of our, of our wonderful crew members. Um, and be able to, to, to provide that those photos for our crew members, but also provide a place and a level of transparency to our customers so they can see who we are, so they can, again, humanize mm -hmm. the company. Uh, there's a great deal of power in that. Uh, we play around with YouTube uh, a lot, you know, as we're building and in, in working with social media more and more, there's a lot of web video coming in. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, you know, this fun content that's being built around our brand and about our, our markets and things like that. We love being able to showcase that there. Um, so is a lot of this user generated? How much is user generated versus you generating? Um, with the Flickr community, we have an open pool that we, we love seeing submissions from. We've got, you know, about 400 folks uh, who are active members of that pool and are constantly submitting photos, and we encourage people to do that. Our YouTube channel really tends to be um, a little bit more control within our, our, our marketing team and our, and our corporate communications team. Um, but again, you know, if people come come to us via YouTube, and we're certainly watching what people are saying on YouTube, um, and we try to be, you know, at least very observant there. Um, our, with Facebook, we don't we actually don't currently have an official Facebook page, which I think a lot of people tend it shocks a lot of people. Um, and we're you know we're thinking about it, but more than anything right now is we're watching how users are using those communities and how users are forming their own communities. There's a, gr a lot of great fan communities. And what's really kind of fascinating is to see a lot of uh, Facebook pages springing up around specific airports. Crew members, you know, really taking their own, their, their power in their own hands and creating uh, communities around, you know, uh, LaGuardia or, or Newark and creating their own pages in their own communities and how we can interact with that is, is great and again it creates that sense of community within our company and also makes it kind of a little bit more publicly transparent to our customers. And then the Twitter is probably... And Twitter is really thing. tends to be where we, yeah, we, we do most of our, our very open and, and right. very public outreach and engagement. Um, we There's a twitter.com slash JetBlue um, or at Twitter if you're, you're if you're in the lingo, and uh, yeah, we've got 730,000 followers as of today, and uh, it's a great community. It's a great way of again doing that real time monitoring, but also really a great way of doing uh, engagement with customers, point, helping customers point to the right resources, and also disseminating larger amounts of information that may be of use to our customers. And then how? Um who gets to contribute to it from your side? Who gets to respond and, and add posts? Is it sure. you? Is you have a team? Do you yeah, have absolutely. We have we have a team. And and as we started playing with Twitter, one of the things that we quickly figured out was we wanted to make sure that our customers and our followers on Twitter were the ones who were driving uh, how we engage with them. It's not about us. It's about them. And so when they come to us and they say, we want to know more about... Uh, this policy regarding True Blue, our, for, our flight uh, gratitude program. Well, all right, I don't necessarily have all that information as an individual who's made this account. So let me make sure that I have people uh, from our True Blue team who are subject matter experts in that that I can, I can go to and I can say, hey, Lindsay, you know, this person's got a question that I don't really know the answer to. Can you answer it for them? And she can run in there and, and she can use our account and answer those questions. 
uh, you know, customer service, uh, marketing, revenue, um, you know, promotions, co uh, corporate communications. All those people have the ability to kind of reach out and interact, and that's you know, there's so much value in that. And then last, just to close with, um, over this next year, what do you see as the social media development that you're most excited about that will help you to better serve your customers? As in, I guess in terms of tools, I think, you know, just the constant evolution, uh, the, the, the different, more than the tools, I really think it's the way people are, are adapting those tools to suit their own needs. and and. There's so much discussion about you know what's proper use of, of of these social media tools, and I think what's really interesting is is watching people claim them and say, well, no, I, I'm not going to do it the way that you expect me to. I'm not going to use the tool the way you might expect me to. I'm going to claim it. I'm going to shape it to the way I want to engage. And I think that evolution uh, is so. Um, intrinsic in the community and there's so much power in that because it creates an ownership of the individual of the tool and so the ways that we can interact with, with people within that framework that they're setting up for themselves um, it's, it's amazing to see how that turns around. Excellent. Well Morgan thank you so much. Absolutely happy to help.